Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Proto Corgi. We got pretty far last time. We got to a boss rush uh, where the bosses actually got a little bit more difficult. So not, not up to your standard boss rushes. So we shall... It caught us unexpected, so we shall see how far we get this time. We did get an extra life, so we get three extra lives because of our continues. And uh, let's see how this goes. So we'll go ahead and log into the game. And take us right back to the beginning. If you'll... That's the one thing about uh, roguelikes and uh, games with continue systems is that it's a little jarring starting off with no abilities, no speed, no weapons. Game just feels a little slow. Although the game starts off pretty slow. Grab some fruit. That's pretty much my only criticism with these type of games, especially indie games, is uh, since they are shorter, they do start off a little bit on the easier side. So it takes a little while for the game to cook up, to get a little interesting, to get a little bit more fun. I do like a, a nice challenge. We grab some missiles. Ah, yes, double laser beam and missiles. So we're going to stick with this until we can get the uh, bone spread shot. So into the fish's mouth. And here we go. That was a nice transition to the music. I guess the only thing we can really do to add a little challenge is to pick up all the extra points. Maybe try to enter the leaderboards. Ah, we'll see. Not really a priority for me. They got some useless enemy placement here. With the crabs, <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. They're not really defending anything. I would love to learn a little bit more about the lore of this game. Especially with the fish army aesthetics. Just go ahead and just go straight across. Uh, we're not going to grab that vegetables. Not worth the risk, even though it's pretty low risk. So we have a fish construction factory in the background, so that's why there's so much fish flying around. Ooh! Now I'm playing four games at once right now. I know I mentioned that before. So it gets a little jarring on the controls and getting used to the mechanics. Okay, so we got the bones. The resolution on this game is a little bit on the bigger side. I'm used to everything being a little bit tiny with my 2K monitor. When everything's a little big uh, and you're transitioning, that might not seem like a big deal, but when you transition from something a lot smaller, you can see more of the screen. Here, everything is a lot more punched in. So, get the falling fish here. We do have a special. I don't know how long it lasts. We've never used a special. I've never found a good time to use it. Not even sh really 100% sure what it does. So let's go ahead and kill this fish before it gets close to us. Cause massive explosion. I wonder how the physics of space works. Because uh, I know you can have explosions, but it might not be the big boom as you expect because of the lack of oxygen. If I'm incorrect, please correct me in the comments. I am not a physicist, so I don't know. Just what I know uh, when people criticize movies. I don't know what that is, so we're happy with our uh, power-ups right now. Let's grab those missiles, okay. Lucky gamble. So we got a little bit more cone-shaped fire, and our laser beam should take care of our direct line in front of us fire. So we have a lot of our damage spread out. Now the bones, even though they're great in the frontal cone because they're so close together, behind us uh, they're not going to be as effective luckily not too many things go behind you and if they do we just avoid them kill all those fishies grab the eggplant watch out for the fish in the background these fish do turn corners so it's best just to take care of them early just so they don't trip you up uh, is that a gem? yes it shines 
Anything shiny is good, I'm assuming. I did uh, think I was grabbing a point, uh, a pickup, when it was actually an enemy. So it, uh, that was an unnecessary death at that point in time. Okay, watch out for these fishies. Oh, half of them uh, broke off formation and tried to attack me. I wonder what their AI system is uh, programmed to do. Okay, we got the Gundam boss. This came up fairly quick. The one thing about progressing in this game, getting further and further each time and dying, is the game just gets longer and longer. <laughs> okay. Pretty easy so far. Easiest boss in the game to avoid. Probably has the most interesting mechanics, though. The bosses are interesting in this game, so... Um, they do have some variety. Aesthetically, they're not that complicated. But... They do have a lot of variety with them. They don't feel like any other boss, even though... All you're doing really is just dodging projectiles, for the most part. So this part's fairly easy. This part, we gotta pay attention. Just not get caught in the cone and we'll be fine. I can't see how much time is left on the timer because of the special. You see that Y in the way. If the timer goes down, the boss is automatically defeated and the boss fight is over and you just continue on to your journey which I find a very interesting choice in a uh, side-scroller shooter. I've never seen a game that does that before. I guess it's to help keep pace, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. The transitions in this game is very nice, especially with the music. Uh, everything seems like it's really cohesive. It's not there's no level selects or anything. It's just continue, continue, continue on your uh, journey. We do travel quite a bit of distance, especially since later on we'll be going through a really, really fast section. You should see that. Uh, you'll see that later. So we got the power-ups we want early, which is very good. Okay, uh, I wonder what that does. I think that's the circular missiles. They're really good up close, but we never want to be that close to an enemy. Okay, they leave back behind some projectiles that stay stationary, kind of like space mines. So we'll avoid those. We got the french fry looking things. I call them french fries, so they just look like fries in fry containers. Something you get like from McDonald's. Let's take out that. That's more important. They do a good job of introducing the enemies so you can see what they are. Later it gets a little bit more chaotic with the same type of enemies, but you'll know the mechanics by then. So three fishes come out at a time, four, five, no particular count. This game was kind of random at times. Firing is pretty easy because all you have to do is hold down the X button uh, if you're playing on a Xbox controller, which I am. I find it to be the Spirit Controller, just because I've grown up with Xbox. It's just a little bit more comfortable with the uh, thumbstick. Okay, here comes the boss. We do have to pay attention a little bit to this guy because uh, he can corner you and you can lose a very easy life, a very avoidable death. Yep, I've been playing Switch games for the better part of a year now. That was a close one. Nice reflexes on my end. I've been playing Switch games for the better part of a year now. And switching controls uh, from Xbox to Switch is a little jarring. Just because the X and Y are flipped and the A and B are flipped. 
So your back button and your select button are <laughs> backwards, essentially. And I played Xbox for decades before that. I owned a Switch for better part of like five years before I started really playing games on them. Just because I like when libraries are built up a little bit. Tons of great JRPGs on there. Okay, so he didn't corner us. We killed him pretty easily. I like to wait till a library builds up so I can just kind of game hardcore on a system. Get my money's worth. Ooh, that was close. Here's where you can corner us, so we'll kind of avoid him. We're doing really good on damage, so I wonder if the timer will go out or if we'll actually kill him beforehand. Ooh, that was close. I didn't expect him to switch directions like that. Almost ran straight into him. Okay, so we did kill him. We can let go of the fire button for now. If I go, if I do die pretty late in the stage in the game, uh, my thumb starts getting tired after multiple playthroughs because I film multiple episodes in a row. A lot of it is to kind of get my groove with the game, because the long, the more I play, the uh, the better I get. So about usually my second run through is the um, the best. The third run through, I start to lose focus a little bit. So I kind of. My eyes kind of just focus in on my on my character, and I don't really pay attention to my surroundings. Because these type of games do take quite a bit of awareness of what's going on around the screen. Now, I think I figured it out. What makes this game kind of hard to see sometimes, other than the sprites being so big, is the pixel art is big. Each pixel is massive. So everything kind of just blends in together. That's my only real criticism in the game. Other than that, it's pretty fun. So sometimes you just don't know what hits you. And then there's just tons of like, what's with the milk cartons and the, uh, the dog bones uh, floating behind me? That's just extra noise. At least the projectiles are different colors. Okay, so it seems like the pink fish or the orange fish leave projectiles behind when you kill him. Uh, I still haven't figured out what these do. What happens if I just shoot? It looks like you can shoot all three of those, but I have no idea how you can do that at the speed. After playing this game every day, I am starting to memorize the levels quite a bit. So, um, I'm finding ultimate routes, alternate routes rather. Squeeze there. I wonder if I touch the wall if I uh, take damage. No clue. Uh, he's going to catch up to me. So let's go ahead and take care of him. Grab that point. This part used to get me quite a bit. I'm talking about two to three deaths per time I got here. But I found an alternate route. I used to go up and above. Now I go down and below. One more dodge. Oh, come on. Let's grab these power-ups. I mistimed that unnecessary death there. As I was just talking about how easy that part is now. Okay, so those things have bigger hitboxes than you anticipate, so we gotta avoid these. And we have one more section before the boss. Honestly, I'm not sure what's up with the dog bones in the background. I think that's just probably points. We do have quite a bit of health. I think we have um, 14 lives left. So that should get us. We got to a boss last round, last time we played, if you haven't watched the episode, that took like five of our lives just because we did not know how to respond. Okay. This this guy could be tricky. It's hit or miss whether he corners me or not. Let's see if I get bad or good RNG with the damage. Uh, we got pretty good damage right now, so let's go ahead and get our things to shoot forward. So we can kind of focus fire. 
you do want to have a lot of focus fire. So one round we got rid of all the shields, so he's going to shoot even more projectiles. Once we kill an eye, the room will start spinning. So one or two more passes should do it. I'm going to have a little bit of focus here. Got him. Nope. One more pass. Now the room's spinning faster. Or he's going faster, one of the two. Even though the boss is dead, the projectiles are still in there, so you still have to be a little conscious of that. Just going through the black hole. Very nice transition. I do like that there's no level selects or anything like that, or no um, victory screens. It's just straight to the next, uh, straight to the point, straight to the next level. Okay, what section is coming up next? So avoid those power-ups. Those power-ups are huge. Obviously, it's so you can grab them. But dodging power-ups and potentially getting an enemy's way is very a very good possibility. So they're just as much of danger if you have the power-ups that you want. Now this game does look easy. <laughs> does look really easy for how I'm making it so far. It's just because I've played it like seven, eight times. So I'm getting pretty much used to the levels. I'm starting to memorize them. I tend not to replay these type of game, uh, replay games. Oh, ooh, that's a, those, that was a little tight. <laughs> Get a little zigzag in there, running through my cones. Okay, so let's get around that. Let's not shoot this. If you break the ice, the enemies will shoot projectiles at you. Uh, I kind of lost my train of thought. It's fine, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I do tend not to play games that you have to play repeatedly over and over and over. Because I like to be surprised. That's what makes games fun to me. So I tend not to play replay a lot of games. Um, and that includes a lot of uh, arcade-style games with a live, live system. Okay. Just keep pulling fire and it should be fun. Now we get an epic anime boss with some good J-Rock music. I wondered if they created the music for this game or they licensed it out or it was already created and they're just paying royalties on it. Very careful selected. Very, very nice. Huh, almost second guess myself there. That first strike is the most dangerous because his shield is not up, so you can't time his first strike. So you just have to keep constantly avoiding. Okay, just like the other Gundam boss, take him out. This part takes a while because he teleports so much. And there's only really one opportunity to attack him. Unless you get lucky with some strikes. Like, this is the part that you can attack him. Huh, that was quicker than anticipated. Never defeating them this quickly. I think I'm on a groove right now. Okay, so this part, we want to shoot our bones up and down. But we actually don't want to fire. Because there's going to be enemies on the right hand side. And shoot projectiles. But they're trapped behind ice walls, so you don't want to break the ice walls, or you'll have twice as many projectiles. Ooh, that was close. The hitbox is a little wonky. It's kind of forgiving, kind of not. Sometimes it's forgiving, sometimes it's not. Don't want too much. We want a little bit more screen on the side. Okay. That part down. That's a little, a little clenching part for me, because it gets a little tight. It gets a little easier from here. Any part that gets kind of tight is really clenching for me. Because those are the, the parts I make the most mistakes on. I have died almost on every single section through different, pre different uh, previous playthroughs. So... We just get pretty much used to the game at this point. 
Okay, let's go ahead and... The reason why I'm holding it down X and firing so much too is to keep my my bones in front of me. Because if you let go, the turrets move. So if I hold um, the X button, they don't move. They stay stationary. And I get to control what I'm firing at. Because I want to fire it in front of me for the most part. Okay, deal with them one more time. Let's take the upper ice block here. We're a little behind. We're usually a little bit more forward. But that's fine. The screen's scrolling at a good pace. Okay, we gotta deal with these high HP enemies again. You can see their health bar in the top center of the screen. Like all that time I've been firing, I only took about a quarter of their health. Take out that before it fires at me. I think we could take this out. Nope. It's too much HP. Okay, what section is next? Possible boss? Nope. Which is a down scrolling part. I don't have the game completely memorized. I do need some reference to know where I am. Okay, now we're at the boss. Now this boss could be a little tricky at first, because he can out -psych you, but once you learn that strategy, he's... It's fairly simple. Just dodge projectiles. Very interesting boss choice, though. We have mechs, Gundams, we have ro just advanced robotics, animals, and we just had this boss is just a bunch of eyeballs, which is a very interesting choice. It's going down a little bit slower. Okay, this part is where he can really psych you out. But he's he's designed fairly well. Okay, he's telegraphs pretty well too. Let's get some damage. Dodge the beam. Okay, I think you got a safe spot there. That was really close. I'm not getting too much damage on him. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. I think that the timer will just run out. So, the problem with the beam also is if you're too far, it can catch up to you. Uh, so you have to go in really quick. Oh, crap. Yeah, if you're too far. I had plenty of space to kind of avoid that, but I kind of backtracked. Uh, he's going to get me again. I should stop saying how easy bosses are. Because that's when they really get me. So let's get a little bit closer to him so we're not as far. So we don't have to travel as far. So I've lost two lives as easy boss. Okay, so the timer did run out kind of voice uh, it would have been a little bit more satisfactory to kill him okay so this next part requires quite a bit of focus not at the beginning of the level but more towards the middle in the end you shall see why if this is your first time if this is not your first time watching then you already know what to expect I'd say after this point this is when the game starts getting difficult Everything uh, in the beginning was just beginner type stuff. Okay. And I get my I can give my thumb break from now on. There's nothing. It's better just to avoid all the projectiles and the unkillable stuff that's going to be coming up. Ooh, okay. Second guess myself there unfortunate um i am having kind of dumb deaths right now a little bit because i'm not as warmed up this is my first run of the day it's unfortunate because i really need those lives for the uh later on for not knowing what to expect not sure what's coming up after the points that i die i tend not to die in the same section over and over 
um, the further I get. Okay, so here we gotta look for the change of graphic. So there's a little break in the walls. So as I was saying, um, I tend not to die in the same places over and over. I get a little bit further each time, but that's just because I don't. Uh, and that gives me a little bit more lives to play with to die in the sections that I don't know. Hopefully I'm getting towards the end of the game because I don't know how many uh, 40 minute, 50 minute playthroughs that I want to do. Because each attempt takes longer and longer to do. Okay. After this point is really where it speeds up. Okay, make sure we fit nicely. This takes a lot of precision. And this part takes a lot of speed and decision making. They try to juke you with their placement. So you just gotta be conscious of um, and have good reflexes. Okay. It gets a little difficult to see. Keep your eyes focused with the and uh, with the uh, background. Because the background has those advertisements, those holograms, pictures. Okay. Here's the tricky part. Got it. Okay, I don't remember this part. Unfortunate. The very last wall. So we have 11 more lives, I believe. Okay, and here comes the fun part. You used to see, a nice little surprise. Karaoke fish. You want to take out those jellies because they don't despawn and uh, they can overwhelm you. I call them je jellies. They remind me of jelly candy. Just dodge that beam. Okay, focus the boss right here. Here comes the little tricky part. You kind of have to U-shape to trick the tracking on these dots. Oh, I did not anticipate that beam. Okay. I hope we can get these all of my power-ups. No. Stupid deaths. Another stupid death. Okay. This is not going too hot. I can't grab that power-up. It's my missiles. I guess we just need to out-survive the boss. So we lost a power-up. Lost my missiles. Okay. So I lost about four lives to stupid deaths. Four or five lives. Okay, so... The music gets a little more intense from here on out. If I ever get quiet because I require a little bit more focus on these areas. I'm going to have quite a few deaths on this part. These fishes are going to U. It's really easy to get cornered by a fish. Okay. I usually die here, but not to that. 
I survived the part I usually die. Which is this part. They try to trick you right there. Okay, so the walls do kill you. So I can't run and touch any walls. Just overcorrected there. Okay, so we're gonna have to go forward and back, forward and back. These take some tight controls. This run was going so well too. Okay. Okay, we're going through a little tight tunnel. Okay, so I got six lives to play with. That's not much. That's a third, um... That's about a third less than I, I wanted. Honestly, I'm fine losing lives to the other, the fish boss, but losing lives to the eyeball was not good. Okay, so this boss is a little tricky. He requires a little bit of focus. So we gotta take out... There's five heads, and we gotta take them out as quick as we can. We take out some of them as quickly as we can. They do respawn. And there is a lot of projectiles. Okay, this part gets a little tricky. Heavy Mega Man 1 vibes. There was a really, really tricky boss in Mega Man 1, probably the hardest boss in the game, that did the same exact thing. So now we got laser beams. Oh, come on, that was BS. Let's do some pickups. Not lose all our power ups. So we have pretty much, when that laser beam is going off, we have about half the um, screen to work with. Luckily, the uh, enemies despawn. So we don't have to worry too much about them. Let's take out another head. There is less projectiles the more you fight. They do get faster, though. Ooh, that was going to nail me, but uh, we took care of it. So we only have one more head to deal with, and our backwards bones should take care of the problem. We are pushing it, kind of. Okay, that takes care of the boss. Timer ran out. I wonder if I don't kill the bosses, I have to fight them again later. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Uh, this is the stage I died in last game. So, this I don't really know what to expect. This is going to get a little tricky. So, let's grab some more missiles. I uh, lost my laser beam because I grabbed the wrong missiles. That's fine. Visually, this is extremely jarring. There is a lot going on. Okay, so we don't want to kill these because they'll sh they'll blow up and turn into more projectiles. They shoot projectiles, but they only shoot like one or two or three at a time. But if you kill all six of them, then you have seven or eight projectiles happening at once. Okay, maybe I should have killed them. So we have four lives to play with completely. Uh, what are these? Might as well grab them.
Uh, I think we got our laser beam back. No. So we got a boss here. Mini boss. Uh, screw it. Let's just hit Y. So the Y makes us invincible. So all we have to do is just kind of out-angle him. Since he shoots in the straight beam. He's not taking much damage. Those bomb drops are a little tricky because it is really tight. Those balls can move faster than you anticipate. We may just have to out-survive this boss. I wish I had my laser beam. Okay, we got a good tracking on him. So we're going to do really good damage. Getting a tracking on a boss with the homing missiles is a little tricky. Because it doesn't always lock on. So we got four lives to play with. I'd say the most difficult part about this game is the visuals. Like, I couldn't really see there because the um, the projectiles blended in with the background. Let's grab some missiles. Okay, this is where we died last time. Uh, I'm probably going to be silent. Just so I can take care of this part. So we just gotta survive one or two more passes. The angles on this make this level a little bit more difficult, especially the spinning. Okay, so he's gonna come up on the side. I can't get a good angle on him, so we just might have to out survive the timer. 60 seconds is a long time in a bullet hell. He's always behind me. Unfortunate death. Uh, I think I'm going to get cornered here. Yeah, got cornered. I got two lives to play with. Got him. So this is officially the furthest that we've ever been. Ooh, don't know what to expect from here on out. I don't know how close we are to the end. That was a really tough boss. That's probably the hardest boss I've faced so far. So we got more stage. It's just so hard to see. I don't know what those do. They don't have any collision. Let's kill some of them. I wonder if we have to kill all of them or are these new ones spawning? Those milk cartons are not helping my visuals. Let's get the laser beam back out. I lost the laser beam because I wasn't paying attention. You can only pick them up so much. Okay, so we got uh, a boss. So we got the eyeball again. How are they going to make this more difficult? Ooh. So there's no telegraph this time. Let's get a lock on.
That was kind of ballsy of me, but... That lock-on is really helping. Okay. Oh! Let's take him out now. Okay. Good. I hope I don't have to face every boss again. We're doing pretty hot so far. What is that? He follows you. He completely 100% tracks you. And they have HP. And a uh, damage barrier shield. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's it. GG. Okay, let's see what we unlocked. Look at that score difference between the top two players and the rest. Hopefully we unlock more continues, because continues is really what I need right now. Nope, just more boss rush stuff. Okay, anyways. Thank you for joining me this episode. This is the furthest that we got. Um, ooh, I'm not even sure I'm going to finish this game. <laughs> this, to be honest, it's getting a little intense. But we'll decide later on. I don't want this going on 50 episodes because I can't beat the game. But uh, it is on the difficult side. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.